Hello everybody and welcome once again to all the mods for I've upgraded the pack to 032 now from 030 I skipped 031 and you can see look at my boots they're doing some funny things that's actually shadow step 4 I think is that enchant I got it from fishing anyway so I put it onto these boots <laughs> it looks interesting doesn't it and behind me we did the automation of latex latex last time didn't we and, th and this is working really well actually um i had to upgrade the solar panels to being tier three because tier two wasn't producing enough power anyway let's have a look at that look at that first of all this is actually not very much time it's like i've already got out a load of this and already cooked it up into plastic i think nope it's already been cooked and put away let's have a look at that i think our plastic will be in this one down here you see I've got 37 sheets of plastic without any problems whatsoever. I also got lucky when I was out doing a few uh, mob grindings episodes. I got uh, nine enderpulls. In fact, I got about six from two. And one was done by the mob grinder below. Let's look at that. Because we want to go down there. I just need to make sure I've got a bucket of water. I probably already got one anyway, but... I want a bucket of water just to be on the safe side because I want to get some obsidian in fact I've actually already got the obsidian but there's a trick that I use a lot for getting obsidian um, so down here's the mob the mob spawn or the mob area and what I did is I gave up with the grate it didn't work at all but I did put the hopper underneath there and it is actually starting to pull bits and pieces in and this has actually got a new mod in it attain drops so there are things getting pulled into here not all the time but if it doesn't work, all I do is I take this fishing rod with ma magnet on it, put it to my hot bar, and anything in the air will get pulled straight into it when it's in my hand. Very handy trick. So let's go down. I want to get some lava. There's a little lava pool down here I've been using for uh, to get water, but I didn't need this because I've already set up an infinite water supply just down here anyway. So this bit of this strange quark structure down here I've been using to get obsidian like this and all, I, all you ever do is you just put down some water like this and it flows across the whole area and when you and then you can simply or excavate this out, out like this it takes a few seconds with this pick but it doesn't it's not too bad because we're all excavating quite a large area aren't we like that. and what happens is the water gets the stuff really fast so if I put this in my, I mean, get freezes the um, the lava so it's quicker than the, it can be destroy the the obsidian. So from that I got 36 obsidian. Oh, I think it was 36. Might have been less actually. As you can see, quite impressive. So I'll just put down a torch down here because it's too dark now. Little fiery torch will do the trick. Oops, wrong one. Actually, I could leave the water there. Let's put a fiery, fiery torch down and press F4. Yeah, it's, it's all lit up reasonably well. That's good. So that what have been how I've got obsidian. So because we want to go to the um, the Nether today, don't we? So what I'm probably going to do to the Nether, as I would actually like to take a turtle with this. In fact, now we've got nine Ender pearls, I can quite happily do some turtle stuff. So I'm just checking in the mob in the mob ground if there's anything has has been dropped since we were down there. Nothing yet. We're too near. Um, and I could build some computers. Let's have a look. What have I got prepared for today? Nothing in there. Oh, yes. This was... We haven't done it yet. And this one. Okay. This is actually... This is a useful one. Let's take this off first of all. This is um, a player. So I'll, make, I'll craft it up. It's fairly straightforward. We'll just do it with... I think it was gates were like this, wasn't it? And then these go around the outside. These are player filters from Dark Utilities Mob Filter Player. What this allows you to do, let's go and look, let's go and demonstrate it. Is it allows you to? I'm not sure where that mob is. It's probably somewhere around about here. So I can remove this door, for example, like this. Um, get rid of the wood first of all. Then remove the door. And then we can just put these into place. So, for example, I've got two on the side here like this. I could put just two down here like that. 
and then you can walk through this like that which gives you an opportunity just to do a little bit and the mobs can't so you're safe and of course it should make it completely dark in there but the darkness levels don't really work properly properly here as far as i can see because i wouldn't expect any light to be coming through there we'll just double check whether it actually makes a difference by putting a piece of wood on there let's put a piece of wood on the filter i don't think it makes any difference they spawn anyway so that's good and something else i discovered because when i was doing the update of this pack i um copied the files across from the saves across and i also copied zero's minimap stuff but the minimap stuff didn't in fact get um it's not in the save, so you have to copy it over before you start the start the pack. Right, so I'm not sure I'm going to build the nether portal, probably downstairs here somewhere like that. Because it doesn't it doesn't matter very much. And what's happening out here? Sounds like a zombie's attacking the <laughs> trader. Maybe I'm too late. Oh yes, it's definitely been, they're attacking something or other down there. Because <laughs> these guys spit at them. Let's go and have a look. I don't see any mobs down here. I'm quite sure he's spitting at. There's a creeper over that. Let's get rid of him. Now this is where it comes handy with a fishing rod. As I approach it, you see everything gets pulled towards me. <laughs> Just like that. I think that was all, so that's good. Um, and I might have even said before, but the but the llamas can actually kill mobs by, by spitting on them enough times. It's funny. <laughs> I've seen it happen. So let's get on and build the portal. I was going to do it downstairs one night. What I do need with me is probably quite a lot of um cobblestone so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to put away stuff i don't need i won't put that in there actually i'll put away these two bags because these are reasonably valuable and obviously water is a bit useless um fishing rod is probably a bit useless and these swords i'm going to put these two swords away and this pickaxe away i don't need it we'll have another pickaxe here like this iron door will keep sleeping bed will always oh, no use having a sleeping bed is there in the nether a sleeping bag in the nether we'll get rid of this actually that yes i got some more obsidian from my previous or excavation of obsidian and we'll put these in here like this so we'll keep the iron door with us we'll have a lever i didn't take the lever off that one but we'll just make a quick lever um go and get it actually because you can see already there's drops in there. In fact, it was just dropped. I don't know if it's picked anything else up in there. It's hard to say. Maybe. But you see it works. It doesn't work very effectively, but it does work. And that's all I really need. So let's go and build. Uh, I think we'll build it here somewhere like this. Because it's... Why not? Just do it at the end of the bed, I guess, because not much is going to come through here, to be honest with you. I have to take my fishing rod away, so I haven't got that there. I just need the obsidian. Have I got the obsidian with me? Yes, I have. Good. And then, of course, I need a. Um, I just want to get rid of some stuff. I've got anything on me that I don't want like that torches will have uh, the iron door will keep um, some sticks that, I'm going to take some wood with me that's always a useful thing to take actually let's take let's take these logs strangely enough they're useful but they're less useful than normal so we want two stacks of cobblestone at least three will do and of course we need a flint and steel so let's get uh, the flint out of here I'm going to take a chest as well and uh, some steel, that's flint and steel 
I might craft those up to two. That's something that we can do on ourselves. No big deal. Um, what else do we want? Clock's going to be a bit useless. We'll leave the clock here like this. We don't need that with us. I would guess an iron pick would be a sensible thing to take with us. I might have one around. Maybe I'll. We got food. That's fine. I don't think we need an axe. Hmm. So let's let's build this portal and do it. I can always put a door on the end of this, of course, or maybe even two doors. What did I put that down there for? Oops. Oh. Didn't mean to do that. I've got to break it off now. And then we can light up the portal and go through it. It'd be nice to get some fire resistance potion of some description, wouldn't it? I should have gone there. Like that. So we're ready. So I'm, what I'm just going to do is I'm going to go through here and then just build a, um, very quickly, something, some protection around where we get, where we come out. We're probably going to come out somewhere near lava. Because we usually do. Yeah, exactly. So, of course, I'm going to very quickly build up as much of this as we can, just in case that gas decides to attack us. I think I'll just cover it up like this for the time being. I hope it's not really doing one that there, really, do I? Let's remove that one. Um, how did I put, oh, yes, put it on here, didn't I? like that and then we want to put some more stuff down the bottom here that will probably do for the to start with on this on this side of it but i don't like the look of this let's go through this side here yes we've got a bit more space this side i said i was going to bring a chest out didn't i I should also put some slabs on top of this to prevent spawning of any other mobs coming from the outside of this, shouldn't I? So we'll do this one and we'll do it down here as well. Might be able to reach some more from up here. Perhaps so I can reach the top from up here, can't I? And then from there I can build this out. Hopefully I can reach this face over here. It'll be enough to get started anyway, because more than likely the gas are going to come from that side where the um, where the lava is, because they like coming from lava sides, don't they? One of their things. Bring twenty-two of that one. Okay, so there we go. So now we have a little bit of an enclosed area to start with. So as long as I can get out, I'm happy. Yeah, we can get out of that. So that will do for the time being. Uh, one more piece over here, I guess. But now we're going to have a look at what we're actually on sitting on top of. So let's just break some of this out here. I've got a feeling it was straight on top of lava. Great. <laughs> so we need to be careful. Um, I'm not going to do any ore excavation of any description on here. As you can see, we're sitting on top of a lava lake with a little bit of it. That's not so great. In fact, I actually knew, to be honest with you, I knew that, because when I did my testing, we came out in the same place as it happens. So I knew it was a bit difficult around here, so let's get rid of these. At least these are then 
the stone is blast proof or compost stone is reasonably blast proof so we don't get we won't suffer too much so I think there's still a possibility of a ghost blasting this in here but I think for the time being this will do I didn't bring a chest but I did bring four pieces of wood so we can make a crafting table which we'll put down here like this and we'll of course we'll make um I think we'll make a double chest now interestingly enough those are, are turning into minecraft chests which is great where shall I put this double chest let's put it on the other side And of course, one sensible thing to put into this is flint and steel. And maybe I can put a steel door on here, but I haven't got... Oh, I have actually, haven't I? Of course I have, yes. So let's do that as well. Let's come out here and put in a steel door. Or an iron door. That should prevent mobs uh, spawning inside this thing, so that'll be useful. I want one more plank here, so I can make some sticks. And then we'll make one lever. Shall make two levers. Normally, oh, I should actually have a stone on here, shouldn't I? I need to put a lever on this side to start with. So open up the door, and then we can put one on this side here, like this. And then we'll get rid of this one. I'll probably put a button on that one. Oh, not a very good idea since I didn't actually. <laughs> oh, great. So let's get the fishing. Oh, I haven't got the fishing rod on, have I? I should have opened up, I should have locked it up before I broke it off, shouldn't I? Never mind. Mobs can't open it up anyway. Let's do it like this this time. Right, so this area is reasonably safe. We'll make sure it's lit up well enough. We're putting down one torch, we'll be fine. Probably like that. Let's press F4, make sure that we've got no dark spots. Oh, we have got dark spots down here. I'll put a torch up. Actually, I'll put one on each corner. Then it's definitely safe enough, isn't it? Yeah. So, right, I'm back. Let's go back home. In fact, actually, before I go back home, let's remove this cobblestone here. Of course, I've got to be careful. Because I, the same thing's happening here, of course. I didn't really want to do that, did I? <laughs> oh, dear. Tell you what. Come back in a second, hopefully we don't fall off and die to our death. No, I should be alright, shouldn't I? Yeah. Let's put these two stones if I can do it. I can't do it. I should probably can do it from this side, can't I? I should be able to put this. No, I can't. Done it, good. So we now have a, re a safer, a safer area. Right, back, back to base. So my plan is to use a um, turtle to do the, the mining in here, and I guess we could either use lava. Maybe lava is a good, a good solution. I mean lava. I mean netherrack for doing the actual um outside of the stuff for the tunnel itself so we can use nether netherrack and netherrack as the as the filter so it basically will not mine up netherrack and replace anything with netherrack so let's have a go for this see if this actually works i should have got some buckets of lava with me which i haven't done but in here i've actually set up the three um three turtles for doing some stuff i want to do some work with the turtles i'd like two things i'd like to do i'd like them to send back a message when something happens because i did actually get another 30 or so diamonds last time i came down here to do a little bit more of mining i think this is now empty yep i emptied it all out and but this is reasonably full we could take out some of this for instance i'm just i'm debating whether to take um, what am I debating about? I'm debating whether to take. Uh, let's have a get this one out of here. 
use cobblestone or to use netherrack for the outside obviously nether cobblestone's easier to see it's not so dark and it might be easier to use as well so well, how many stacks are we going to need we're going to need around about 22 um per is it 22 I think it is 20, it's 21 isn't it 21 per slice so that would be that would be a really three stack three stacks but one stack would do three rows so it probably isn't enough and I forgot to pick up my lava didn't I as well let's go and pick up some lava from yeah oh, I haven't got the buckets with me we'll tell you what we'll try it and see how it goes I might have some, yes I've got some netherite with me, that's good, but I won't have enough. But I, I do know where a, a fortress is. So. Let's have a look. We could actually simply start from here, couldn't we? Do I have anything on my minimap to take, did I mark the fortress? I think I probably did. Let's have a look. Um, why is it waypoints? Let's look at waypoints. Now I've got no waypoints in here. So if I start off here, here we've got a chest. So they would come back here and they would dump stuff off here, wouldn't they? Um, and underneath here we need a chest for something else. Yeah, I thought that might be the case. Let's make sure that's safer down there. Is good. Really not happy about this lava, <laughs> as you may have realised. Been very cautious. So, if we make another chest, let's do that. Oops, what am I doing? So it needs a dumping just at the bottom for, for netherrack. Like that. And then it starts off from here, doesn't it? So let's put down a... Actually, let's... Yeah, let's put, let's put make another chest because I guess, I guess it's going to require two would be sensible. So let's put the turtle on here. We'll need some torches. I haven't got enough torches. Okay, I'll put it down like that. And that's minor three. So it should have the thing, it should have it, everything that we need. So we want to basically put another rack here and here. He won't have enough nether rack. Um, so it's funny, we could actually put some cobblestone in there and then we can put the rest of the cobblestone in here. Shift click that and then we can do these like that. It wants a harper pointing into this. I haven't pulled a harper for it yet to get torches. So we just set up the torches and it should carry on. It should have enough torches, 38, for a bit of uh, mining. So let's see if we can do this. So I'm going to use the side miner, of course, not the main shaft miner. And we want it to go to the right. So we'll do safe, safe branch side. We don't need to do branch mining here, do we? So then we're going to say, we're going to go along... Actually, I need to go along about 300 blocks. We'll go along, say, 100. And then we want it to go to the right, and there's one miner on here like this. Let's see how this, let's see how this copes with it. So it's now putting down blocks. You see, it's not breaking the... It's not using the cobblestone unless it finds something it, it doesn't need. And what's going to be nice about this is that it's going to be reasonably safe when it's finished because there'll be no air windows to look out of. So I'll tell you what, I shall be back in a short while when this is finished. See you in a short while. Well, I actually just realised I was going the wrong way. Um, so I've, 
I needed to do something else too. I needed to make sure that it will find its way to the chest. I need to leave the chest here and I need to go this way. This is the way the fortress is anyway. You can see on the on the mini map. If I go to my map here, the fortress is around about here. It's not too far away, but it's I think it's around about this height. So, <laughs> so it's the choice of two. And in fact, I, sh I should have definitely gone east to west. So we decided to go east because wherever you are, they're always east and west of on the lines, if I remember rightly. And what you see you're doing at the moment is filling in holes. There's holes in here. And it already has picked up some stuff when it was doing the other bit. It's picked up some soulstone cobble. Um, and this is useful, it has its uses. It's also picked up some solium dust. Now, if you look at the uses of this, you basically you cook it. And then the uses of soulstone, you cook that and you cook that again and you get smooth soul stone which you then cook again and then you get this soul dust and the soul dust you can then start to make well blank skulls whatever they're used for I'm not sure but maybe that's handy um but you should also be able to make soul glass and this is the important one i think for mystical agriculture in fact it does tell you it's mystical agriculture so this one then becomes a capsule for experience or soul jars and the soul jars you can use as well. You look for use of soul jars, doesn't tell you. But when they're filled with some mob entity, you can start to make mob um, spawners. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to carry on here for a little bit longer. I'm going to make sure this has got enough um, cobblestone in it. If it hasn't, we'll just have to swap it over to netherrack. And it can replace whatever it finds with netherrack. But I I prefer to have cobblestone with me. So what you can do, of course, is to make sure that this has got enough cobblestone in. You can help it along. Just right-click it and then put, push some more cobblestone into that, like that, and then take away stuff it doesn't want, like, like that. So we've actually got our first piece of quartz too. This is obviously quite a good way to travel, if nothing else. Normally what I do in the nether is go up to the very top. I just climb my way up to the top and then do it from there. In fact, I actually did get burnt just a few seconds ago. Fortunately, I nearly, very, very nearly died. It was like uh, four hearts left or something like that. And when I was eating at the same time. Um, because he dug up a lava pool. Now this guy, the um, turtles are not affected by lava. Or water are well, fairly impervious and not even expect even explosions don't really seem to bother them too much so we'll let this carry on and see what happens and I shall see you when we're getting I hopefully near towards this it's gonna take a while to get near towards the fortress anyway we'll be I'll see you in a short while well I'm back at base because I've run out of fuel even though in the in the in the nether there wasn't that much um, lava about so let's just getting some more lava and i'm going to fill this up to its maximum level and then take five more with me so we just flip put this into here and then you just say refuel all and i think the maximum level is ten thousand it won't take any more than what we've got so that's fine that's now ten thousand but we'll just try another couple of buckets we've got another five buckets so we'd have fifteen thousand that might be enough. Let's just see if this refuels it. I'm not sure what the capacity of this one is. Oh, yes we can. Good for fill it up as much as possible. Fifteen thousand. Oh there we go again. Just gotta get the right place for heading Lara of course. It's not always that easy. fuel and to do this maybe 20,000 will be a good limit fuel limit reach 20,000 great so we'll take another 5,000 that's probably going to be enough but it's, it does it has been using a lot of not so much fuel but it's been using a lot of um, cobblestone and I ran out of cobblestone so I switched over to uh, using netherrack I still did around us to the other, so I had to carry on doing 
mining the Thanak rack at the same time as <laughs> he was working. But I don't want to do that again, so we'll see if we can get some more. Enough cobblestone this time to do the job. Probably, oh look, you see some more drops down here. Now, I've got, obviously, the goal is to, to automate this completely, so I don't have to do that. What did it pick up anything? I don't think it's picking any items up. Or maybe they're despawning, but I wasn't there very long, was I? Um, so, so, what I do want to do with me, I'm going to take as much of this cobblestone as I can. I've got enough wood here, so that's fine. I probably don't need the... <laughs> I've been slaying a few mobs, as you can see. And they come into the base. Oh, sorry, okay. Oh, well, at least in the... In there. I don't need these in there. Let's just remove the shears. I don't think I can think of anything would need shearing in the, in the nether. Watering can probably also not very useful. Um, the fishing rod I'm going to take with this time. And also this bag. See, I've got a few. I probably don't need any obsidian either for that matter. But just to be on the safe side, I'm going to take another flint and steel. Or at least if I don't take a flint and steel, what I'll do is I'll take a piece of iron and a flint. And of course, I can't do that, can I? So it probably is cheaper to take one of each and then just craft it into a flint and steel. I think you can press W. I think it's shapeless crafting anyway, so and steel so you can easily do that right off we go again i shall see you in a short while um there's actually not very much to do it's just a very long way and i have made a mistake of course the first mistake i made here is i really do have, you have to set it up to being not branch mining you have to do a main line first of all and a main line of 10 was was coming to here and then you've got this place to start from. So, <laughs> so the poor old... Now it will run out because it, it won't work anymore. So we'll just put the, the thing back again. Now it says that 313 is where the fortress is. So I'm going to I'm going to tell it to go 314 um, blocks. I think I should have made some more torches. We'll just put them in anyway. So yeah, I brought some more of these. Let's make... Actually, eight pieces I think is enough. Sixteen would be a good number. Thirty-six. It'll give me more than one stack of torches, won't it? So we can put into here the ta a stack of fiery torches. That'll go a long way. We can also put in here lots of cobblestone. In fact, let's just fill it up with cobblestone as much as we can, because it's going to use for cobblestone. Uh, and it'll want some, maybe it wants some fuel just to be on the safe side. We'll put it down there. And then we'll just get a piece of netherrack. And it'll fill the rest up. It won't use much netherrack. Because it's at the moment. Let's get it going. So let's say um, safe branch side. Um, 300 I think. Left, whoops, left one. So it's going to go along here now it's going to go as far as it can because there's no obstacles in the way and the old program would have started to mine again which would have been very irritating so it goes a little bit faster i don't need this light levels on anymore oops not three or four and you'll see the mobs are actually spawning on top of us because we're coming into a lake here and you'll see this in a second when he's come up here but it's quite a slow process in fact you can just see over there there's a hole because he didn't finish off last time and I think just to be on the safe side I'm going to put one piece of cobblestone right in the middle here like this that's where he's going to come to and start start mining it out again or yeah in fact he's actually not mining us and since because at the moment there's just nothing here It's just a big lava lake we're above. So it's now comparing this to what we've got here to cobbles to, to netherrack and when it finds something like that gap there, it carries on. You can just see when we're coming out here, you should see yes, you can probably see now there's just nothing in front of us. For quite a few hundred blocks I think. And the map doesn't help. If we look at the map, you can see we're going towards this fortress over here. I think this is a fortress. 
and you can generally generally see on the map these type of structures it does look sort of like a fortress doesn't it here in this chunk so i shall be back in a while when it's finished doing its mining if it runs out of cobblestone of course i have to keep my eye on it i will um i don't think it's going to run out of fuel now and i don't think it's going to run out of torches we've got plenty so i'll see you in a while when we're back again hello back i'm back again and <laughs> it was quite a while about two or three hours and it's actually reached the fortress i was around about two blocks but there was one change i had to make um on the way i kept having to go back and get more uh, netherrack um so if i have a look at this and have a look at the options here and you go to video settings i had to change the, the render distance to 32 chunks um because this tunnel's uh, it's basically 320 long now so at the other end there was 320 blocks and a six and a 16 wouldn't do it that 16 16 isn't enough you need more than um 320 so it has to be over 20 uh chunks in order to do this tunnel length so it went up i did eventually get it up to i was just short here and so i then had to send it back again to do another 20 blocks so it ends in these 20 blocks huh. um what else did we notice? I also noticed that when I was here, I think I got an Enderman. I'll put them away. Uh, there was an Enderman in the, in the tunnel taking um, Netherrack. So I killed the Enderman. I actually got five Ender Pills from that, which was pretty good. With this sword, as you can see, the one with the looting four on it. It doesn't set them on fire. I think the setting them on fire sometimes kills them without you killing them, so you don't get the drops. And also, of course, the other trick, trick I should have done before is to put the fishing rod with the magnet three in the, on my offhand, and that picks up everything. So that's it for this episode. I've still got my smoking boots on. I didn't tell you what the enchant does. The enchant um, basically allows you to get very near to mobs before they see you. Um, next episode, we're going to do and attack the fortress and see if we can get some blaze rods in order to be able to carry on with the mob spawner. So until then, I wish you all the best. Bye for now.